Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafters. It seems that, judging by the comments on the last episode, there is at least enough attention to warrant an extended first taste. Though, if by the end of this one, you feel that you enjoyed what you saw and want to see even more, you know how to uh, how to let me know. That is with a comment down below or a thumbs up. But with that said and got done, let's uh, jump into the paddling pond of this game once again and see what there is to, to see. And first and foremost, uh, talking about ponds again. Yes, I know this will be a lake. I knew it was going to be a lake at the beginning of the last episode as well. Hence my uh, allusion towards the uh, the fact that you would have to deal with water later on. But I haven't yet decided where I want a permanent base. And I did want to get a couple of things unlocked before I started making one. Namely ladders, but there are a couple of other bits and bobs that are also quite nice. Uh, that ladder in particular, so that we can make multi-story buildings. This was uh, an accidental unlock, really. And... Uh, uh, I mean, as pretty as it is, it'll do us for a little while. But we do definitely need to move around. Now, I've had a load of really, really solid... Uh, solid bits of advice in the comments on the last episode. And I will try to enact some of those as we move forward. One of them being that I should really just pop down a couple of uh, little staging bases at places that I intend to be active. And that's a, that's a really, really solid bit of advice there. Uh, secondly, I wouldn't mind putting down a drill number two. Have we got enough power here? Let's go and have a quick peek inside. I've got to refresh my memory on exactly what we have to play with. Could you show me? We've got 10 kilowatts. Okay. Uh, fair enough. That shouldn't be too rough for us. I think... Let's see. Is this a... That's iron. This should be common. Let's have a gander. We've got one. Have we got any more over here? We've got two. Marvellous. Have I got one, two again? I do, in fact, have one, two again. That's a double marvellous. Uh, I think I will probably go ahead and completely replace the current drills that we've got. They, there's no reason to keep those diddy drills around, in my opinion. Uh, the wind turbines, I think, kind of look nice to have them as a testament to our earlier setup. Uh, these can definitely simply just be upgraded. So let's start off as we mean to go on, plopping you down, and then we're gonna quickly decommission both of these because that one is probably doing as much work as the two of them. Uh, yes, very much so, and also giving us a little bit of heat as well. So let's get a second one down and then a third, if indeed we can afford it. There we are. Ah, damn it. Of course. Of course we can't afford it. Nothing can be that simple. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got cobalt aplenty in the base, so I can at least pop down a couple more uh, solar panels. What else are we going to need? We've got silicon and iron there as well, I should imagine. Let's go and grab the cobalt. That will... Oh, well, actually, that'll only give me one. That'll give me two. That'll give me three. There we go. Some extra silicon. I believe I only needed one silicon and one iron each, so we're not going to need that much. There we go. Let's uh, drop off the extra silicon that I will have uh, over the required amount. We'll also drop off the magnesium. I will eventually get much more organized storages down here. Uh, now, it's interesting. I saw someone in the comments saying, well, I went to all of the effort of setting things up, but then I didn't orient the uh, solar panels to face the sun. But that got me to, to thinking, although we've got a daylight cycle, I'm not actually sure that we have a, st a, a uh, moving skybox. I'm not sure if the sun moves. So if that is the case, I will reposition these in a bit. But uh, for now, let's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to be an agent of chaos. There you go. That's what you get. You're going to get uh, completely mismatched uh, solar panels that are all doing their work all the time. I know, I know. How could I be this cruel? Uh, very easily, actually. It's uh, remarkably satisfying. Uh, we'll also pop this one down right there. Pop. Oh, really? That's my fault. I, that, that's karma. That's karma. Just coming straight back to bite me in the bum. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look at what we will require for that. We'll need a little bit of aluminium for the solar panels, too, but uh, they are very, very good. Do we have any spare aluminium? Oh, we do. We do have a bit of spare aluminium. We have at least one. 
Okay, there we go. That actually should be doing us quite well for power for a little bit. Uh, well, we've got 9.4, but we're not intending to place down anything uh, too potent just yet. Let's have a look at our terraforming index. It's actually going up very, very nicely indeed. Heat, pressure, and oxygen all going up very quickly. Uh, we do have a beacon. Now, that one's going to be an important one for us to get set up, actually. And food grower is uh, not terribly far away at this point. Very happy to see that. We've got a couple of other things that we're going to get for pressure before we get to anything functional, and that will be the communications antenna and then ultimately the nuclear reactor. But the beacon is going to be a quite a nice one. Now, we're uh, unfortunately going to need a little bit more aluminium, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, we need two iron, three iron, two titanium, and a silicon for the next part of the plan. Alrighty, this is going to be the site of one of our staging bases, mainly to get materials out of there and possibly be the beginning of something even bigger and better. So uh, we should plan, uh, so should build with a plan for the future at the very least, or the po potential that the future might expand beyond my initial estimations. Can I not connect that there? Uh, surely I can. Hmm, apparently I cannot. Well, I might need to lift all of these up there a little bit then. That's kind of an annoyance, but give me just a second to get all of this where it needs to be. And that'll do nicely. There we go. Now, do I still have the materials to actually build the hab unit up here? That's another question entirely. Uh, that would do, I should imagine. Could I get it again? Just a little bit closer. There we go. Perfect. Now, do we have enough of the door? We do! Marvellous! Let's go and get some uh, fresh air. <sighs> okay, good times. Let's pop down a uh, little crafting bench over here. In fact, let's put it bang smack in the middle. Then we can have storages either side. I think that will look much nicer. There we go. Perfect! And with this, I can make a, a couple of extra bits of water because I did make a few... Uh, I, I did harvest a bit of ice on the way up because I noticed that we were actually fairly low in the main base. There we go. How much ice did I harvest? I harvested a lot of ice, my lord. Now, whilst I was heading up here, we have actually unlocked a couple of other things. Namely, the food grower. Now, that one is a huge, huge deal for us, and we are going to want to set that up fairly soon. But uh, for the time being, what I would really like is a chest or two to pop in here. And I may as well start off with just building my own chest in there, just so that we've got somewhere to dump materials. There we go. This isn't really going to, or at least right now, isn't going to be much beyond just a uh, storage base for looting the ship. But uh, we'll hopefully uh, be able to make some better use of it in the future as well. We'll, we'll see. Uh, let's get that there. The one of the nice things about the fact that uh, energy is not, uh, you don't have to uh, transport that around directly, is you can have these bases set up all over the place if you want to. And we probably will. Right, there we go. Got our basic supplies just in case. Wow, we have unlocked a bunch of stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, terraforming is going on apace. Now, give me just a moment to empty this place out as much as I can. Sadly, I cannot deconstruct the walls, but if I could, I would. And with that, the final trip is complete, and we have emptied that uh, crashed ship of every single thing of any remote value. In fact, I don't think, uh oh, uh, that we even have enough room to put everything in here. I'm actually going to need more places to store stuff, my lord. Uh, and someone in the comments has confirmed for me that, yes, uh, you know, uh, as one might expect, meteors will kill you if they hit you. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Uh, we're going to grab all of the aluminium because I would very much like to upgrade our... Uh, I'll drop these off as well while I'm here. Uh, I would very much like to upgrade our current solar farm. Uh, we'll also grab the uranium and all of the iridium as well. Marvellous. Should I take the fabric back? I probably should take the fabric back, actually, thinking about it. Uh, should I grab all of that? And I think other than that, we're pretty solid. Now, I could just leave a load of things up here. I'm going to take back the eggplants, though. 
and two are the food. But we need to remember there is a decent amount of uh, grub up here should I need it. Also, a means to make some more things. Ooh, Exoskeleton Mark II? Have I got an Exoskeleton Mark II? I have not. Well, 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 well. Also, a Jelly Petit Boot. Ah, I see. You're tempting me now, game. Am I going to do this? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, well, first things first, I need to take off uh, the components such that when I remove that, the backpack doesn't fall off because that would be a massive pain to put back on. There we go. And now we've got so many more slots for everything. Can I make the agility boots? I would need two fabric. I'm fairly certain we can make that happen. Yes. Let's go ahead and make agility boots one and slot those in. Now, what do I need for agility boots two? Another two fabric. And I don't think we quite have that. At least not up here we don't. I may have it back at base. So we will definitely go and check that out. Let's grab a decent amount of grub. And we've got a little bit less now to take back with us. So, you know, I guess that is what it is. But uh, let's grab the cobalt. That is a bit less common than anything else. There we are. I'm getting a little bit thirsty, actually. So I'm going to grumble that down right now. Actually, I should probably grab one of the uh, the liquid, uh, sorry, the uh, water bottles, liquid bottles. I, yeah, I just drink liquid. Doesn't matter what kind. I'm an evolved human. Uh, there we go. Let's head on back and uh, hopefully be able to make the agility boots too. I'm not really feeling too much of a, a difference right now. I'm sure it is quite noticeable uh, or will be when I'm editing this and I can see before and after stacked right next to each other. But wow, I kind of wish I'd had that when I was running back and forth in that ship because it took me more than a couple of trips, sadly. But uh, at least now it is all emptied out and the next ship on the list will be our friend over yonder. Now, terraforming index is actually going up quite nicely. We're going to replace those two solar panels, I think. But first things first, have we got any fabric? No. Balls. Oh, well. Uh, I guess I will just have to live with that one for now. Uh, but what we can do, at the very least, is set up our uh, food grower. Let's drop off the uh, super alloy. Well, that is going to be very, very important later on for us. Let's uh, not mix these up. There we go. A little bit of inventory management. Never hurt anyone except when it did. Right, okay. So, what do we need for the food grower? It's going to be aluminium, iron, and water bottles. <sighs> See, this is why you carry everything with you at all times and never leave anything behind, because you never know when you're going to need it. We Be right back. Off on an ice hunting mission. And there we go. That should take care of our energy problems for uh, a moment or two, possibly less. Uh, because the next thing that we're going to be building is a rather power-hungry device. It requires 15 energy a second. And we have, I believe, if my calculations are correct, about 30, 34.9. Okay, so with that, maybe instead of putting two of those down... We will put one down for now and then get a communications antenna up and running. I think that would probably be a wise move. Where do we want our food to be grown? You know what? Sure, we can have it grown on this side, I think. It's a fairly tall building, this one. Actually, given that, maybe since we're only having one, we'll place it down here. You can rotate it so that it... it you want the... Uh, or at least, in my opinion, you want the uh, aperture facing forward. Now, in this, we put food. Uh, we, each type of plant will have a different sort of return of the plants we have right now. I think squash seeds are going to be the better ones to use. There we go. Boom. There. Now, chance to get seed back. It's currently 100, and as far as I've seen, everything has a 100% chance. But I guess as the game gets further developed, that chance may depend on the type of uh, type of seed you use. Now, with that done, do we have enough? We do. Marvellous. Uh, I think we're going upstairs. Once again, you're going to want the front pointing forward. Uh, we'll pop this one. It's about there. Ah. 
as you can see, sometimes uh, you won't get the front pointing forward, and uh, it may actually do better to stand off to the side. Obviously, I knew that already, and I just did this to demonstrate the uh, the classic blunder that you might find yourself falling into. But there we go. We've now got access to the top of the base, and if we wanted to, we could uh, set up a little room up here that would uh, that we would then have a door out of. And I kind of think I would like that actually. Uh, what are we going to need for that? We just need a little bit of titanium. Titanium at this point. Uh, have we got a little bit of titanium? We do not. Oh, that's a little bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, do we need much? We need one aluminium for this. Okay, right. Do we need for this? We need a little bit of. Oh, no, we need both. Balls. Well, as things stand, the beacon is more important, but uh, we should be able to get some more. Aluminium from around the place. I just need a little bit of titanium first and foremost and to pop down this beacon and Then we're gonna go off on a wander because we're gonna need to uh, Plumb the depths of another ruin in order to get that titanium. Uh, sorry the aluminium that we're gonna need Let's go and pop this back down here. This way we will always be able to find our way back home uh, Apparently what what I don't approve of you wanting to go on the uh, Go sideways there that will not do at all. There we go Beacon complete. Now, this has a couple of options, actually, given that. Let's uh, rotate it just so that it faces the right way. There we go. After more trial and error than I would frankly like to admit, we have our beacon. But you can change the beacon color. Uh, what what color should be home? Uh, let's go for a nice, nice welcoming green there. There we go. All right, we need some more aluminium. This is going to take... It's already 40% there, which isn't too terribly bad, I suppose. And look at that sky. Notice the color of the sky is now? Mm-hmm. That's right. It is starting to be a little bit less red and a little bit more purple because there is now a little bit more blue in it and that is our goal ultimately we're actually making some good progress but we're gonna need to take some gubbins with us in fact i think i might actually now have all of the gums i need just need to pick up some more titanium on the way we'll grab a little bit more oh, we're out of iron wow uh, gonna need to grab some iron on the way as well then for us to and i guess i'll bring along the fabric as well just so that I have that to hand should we manage to get all of the material. You know what, we'll also bring the super alloy uh, so that we can then build the next uh, agility boots as well. That would actually be a pretty nice upgrade. All right, off to our next destination, which is over this hill right here. And we're here, and just as I was coming over the hill, we unlocked a new item for our arsenal, the Drill Tier 3. This will give pressure of 17 a second, only a slight upgrade over there, but it is increasing energy draw by 3.5, but it gives a lot more heat. That is going to be the drill that we're going to be upgrading to as soon as we possibly can. In the meanwhile, though, let's uh, go ahead and set up a quick base. Pretty much exactly the same design as we had last time, that we don't need to reinvent the wheel. Uh, though that being said, I could be a little bit more fancy by putting that with... Ah, uh, look, okay, sometimes you do need to reinvent the wheel, actually. You find out that the previous wheel was a little bit frumpy, and you want a less frumpy wheel. Oh, man, now I've got to go and get more iron. You should never reinvent the wheel. It'll just add delays whilst you're slowly suffocating. And there we go. Glorious. Also, while we were looking for materials, we unlocked the locker storage now this is much better than the crate much much larger uh though we're gonna need to go and grab some materials to set one of those up but there we go this is where it needs to be and i need to make a new oxygen tank because i almost ran out Shh, it's fine uh there we go that should take care of things right let's go and grab a little bit of extra iron we need one more are we going to be lucky yes we are marvelous let's go and put these back in. actually i'm going to grab a little bit more iron as well just so i can demonstrate how much extra room the logger has mind you it is three more iron but honestly you're going to be drowning in the stuff so i wouldn't worry too much about that one and there we go side by side okay so the small storage crate has a solid 15 storage spaces not too shabby but the locker has a rather impressive 35 storage spaces and it takes up more or less the same uh, space with the exception that you could affix some wall mounted devices above a storage crate 
Uh, but other than that, you can't stack anything else here. So if you're not intending to put like a wall panel or something there, maybe we should. Maybe we should make use of it. Um, but if you're not going to be doing that, then there is no point in having that over a, uh, a locker, which is, as you can see, significantly more functional. I need a little tiny bit of silicon. Are we going to find any? Of course we're not, because I want it. Ah, there we are. Thank you very much. There we go. Right, let's go and pop that in here. This place is getting frankly functional at this point. I'm quite impressed. Uh, perhaps we can have the little storage crate just for supplies, because I'm probably not going to be storing that much supplies anywhere I am. Uh, this can go right there. Pop. Perfect. Look at this. Marvellous. Right, let's uh, gobble down some water. Don't need food just yet, but... Now it's time for me to head back out and to search for some more materials. I shall be back shortly. And that was actually a lot faster than the previous wreck. The, the larger ship up on the, uh, on the cliff face uh, but I, from what I can see, that is the largest of the ships, or at least that I have uh, found so far in my explorations of the game. Uh, we, that being said, we have got a lot of materials out of there. Let's uh, sort this out. Oh, still only got one aluminium, but that's fine. We did manage to get a plenty more food, though, which I'm very, very happy for. Now, for the better agility boots, I just need the two super alloy, two fabrics, of which we now have quite a few, and an aluminium. We'll take the agility boots out of my exoskeleton and upgrade them. And there we go. This is going to be marvellous. Uh, does it actually say how much it increases? By 15%, and then this doubles that again. That's actually brilliant. Sorry for faffing around there. Right, okay, is there anything else that we want to upgrade to? What kind of oxygen tank am I currently rolling with? A T3 oxygen tank, T3 backpack. We have got a couple of modules that might be worth having. Uh, T3, yep, everything there is okay. We can go for mining speed up. Aluminium there for that, but I only have one aluminium. I would like to get a communications array up and running if at all possible. Also, I'm going to need more aluminium for the drill twos. That's a bit of a pain in the bum, but uh, definitely worth us doing. And we've now got so much more locker storage. Uh, still, that being said, I don't think I'm ready yet to wrap up our exploration. So let's grab a couple more bits and bobs. Uh, I think that will give me enough for building the hab unit and then just loads of iron because let's be honest i'm going to make loads of stairs uh we're also going to need for the crafting station a little bit of extra silicon there we go lovely all right off we go that one locker is just amaze balls uh now the next place that we're going to want to be over uh or at least the way where i want to be is over here you can start to see as the atmosphere is becoming ever more uh clear that uh, these dust clouds are starting to disperse. Also, in there is quite an interesting place, and I generally found that the map kind of leads you to where it's going to be interesting to go, uh, with the uh, kind of the dust falls there being a good visual cue that there is something worth investigating in that direction. Uh, but now that we've got the enhanced agility boots, we can make these longer tracks without too much worry of running out of uh, of supplies on the way. That being said, we've got a supply crate just over here. Let's have a quick poke in and see what we've got. Ooh, the bean seeds there, absolutely wonderful. That is going to be a huge source of food for us. I'm fairly certain the beans may actually be one of the best food sources, or at least the best that I've seen so far. Now, which way do we want to try and get in here? Are there multiple here's to get in? I don't actually know. There may be. But this is a very, very large wreck. And I haven't had the opportunity yet to uh, explore this. So uh, we're going in here blind. So I might actually bring you with me for this one. Uh, this looks like the best spot for us to throw together a quick, uh, quick base of operation. So let's uh, fashion this as quickly as I can. Hopefully, I won't have to dig into my O2 supplies. But if I do, that's uh, not so bad. That's why I've got them after all. Uh, and once more, 
because I like uh, stairs that are approached from the side. We will do it like this. Uh, in before, I've now used up too much iron and I can't put the hab module down. No, I can. Marvelous. Uh, okay. Then, if that's not going to be the uh, problem, is it going to be that I don't have enough? No, I do. Wow, okay, fair enough. There we are. Do I have enough of this? Oh, my lord. It's almost like I prepared properly this time. Let's uh, pop you. Ah. Of course, I couldn't have a, a, a string of good luck that long. I had to do something wrong. There we go. Let's uh, try and get you properly aligned now because it is important. And ah, one shy on the iron there, but still not too bad. I should be able to pick up some iron from around here, I should imagine. I'm going to grab some from outside because I don't know how deep into the structure I'm going to have to go to uh, get iron on the inside. So uh, let's go ahead and just grab a bit from there. We just want one locker so I can drop things off. But this is one of the things I really do like about this game. This game, I've mentioned it before, it's a very comfortable feeling game to play. And part of that comfort is in the things that the developers have chosen not to focus on. Yes, this is a survival game, but it has removed as much of the grind as they felt comfortable removing, I, I guess you could say, um, while still having it be a survival game at its heart. And you really do feel it. This, this game doesn't inconvenience you with as much minutiae as some survival games do. That being said, you know, there is definitely a time when, when you kind of want to play those games in that way and you want that, that minutia grind. But here, I think, uh, I think this has got a great balance with exploration, with building, but never, never too much of a problem. And yes, I have been turning my, my torch on and off. I am trying to. I am really, uh, there may be a couple of, ooh, that's got a ladder, okay. There may be a couple of points where I have forgotten. Uh, let's explore one floor at a time first, though. Um, but uh, a couple of people mentioned in the comments that, ah, <laughs> the torch being on on the inside, it's blinding me. I am sorry for that. I am uh, quite, uh, I'm one of those people that doesn't really find that too, too uh, garish, so uh, I ignore it. If, uh, if I'm not losing power to have the torch on, I don't really care about turning it off, but I am trying. Uh, let me know how well I did or, or didn't do in the comments. Uh, let's see, a little bit of iron. This is opening up. Oh, there's a ladder up there. Okay, this is a big area. There's a lot of stuff for us to take apart. Well, have a look around, just, you know, explore the area a little bit uh, together before I start actually emptying the place of things. Ooh. Okay, very interesting. We came from that direction. Uh, what else have we got in here? Oh, we've got some... Can I... Seed Tusker. Okay, I will take you and Seed Nolna. Fairly soon, we've seen those before. Uh, though that's a 400. Okay, so this is some sort of uh, seed ship. I wonder if these are all part of the same ship, though. That does occur to me that that might be the case. Uh, it was just one massive capital vessel that just broke up as it entered the atmosphere, which would kind of make sense when you think about it. Ooh, can we use it? Oh, food level low. Uh, well, I've got some food just to take care of that. We've probably also got a, a blueprint ship. Marvelous. Let's uh, take that down as well. But let's have a look. Can I access this? No, no more secrets. The devs are adding more story to the game as it goes along. I wonder if you could power these things up. The the, the larger ship on uh, that we explored at the beginning. What? Okay, we've got a lot of interesting things. Some things I've not seen before. All right, this is definitely worth a full explore. But uh, I do wonder if the massive generators on the first ship can ever be turned on. If you look further into the, the tech tree, you can actually see that there is tech for a fusion cell, but I don't know if that's ever going to be used to power an existing ship, or if it's going to be more of a thing that uh, that you just uh, have to power your own fusion generator, which would kind of uh, be cool. Okay, it looks like uh, we're getting to the end of my inventory capacity now, so it's time for me to start emptying the ship. I will bring you back if I find anything deeply uh, mysterious and or just slightly interesting. See you in a few seconds, or in a time lapse, depending on how much time I have to edit the video. And that's it. This ship has now been emptied out. No messages found, sadly. I was kind of expecting to find some. But uh, especially in a large ship like this. But again, I don't know if the, the ships were were 
parts or rather modules of a single vessel or are separate ships. I mean, the design looks somewhat similar. Nevertheless, we've actually managed to loot a ridiculous amount of materials out of that ship. Oh, also, ah, damn it. I just told you to let me know if I was leaving the torch on and then I left the torch on. But specifically, we've got ridiculous amounts of aluminium. Two blueprints that I am absolutely going to be taking back with us. In fact, we could probably quickly throw down a little bit of something so I can unlock that. I just need a little bit of silicon. Uh, do I have any silicon around? Of course I don't. That would be way too, way too easy. Of course, I have to pick a sandstorm to go hunt for silicon, don't I? I could barely see anything. Uh, but we've got the silicon now, so let's uh, go ahead and pop down a little desk there along with a blueprint screen and then we can use the uh, the chips rather than have to carry them back a new screen mapping and a GPS satellite well now uh, that is quite quite the improvement and after a quick trip outside to gather the necessary components uh, let's go ahead and make a microchip compass let's have a look at you right so with that We've already got one on right now, so we've got our campus up top. Uh, we should now be able to build the mapping station and see how this works out. Pop it there. And no satellite in orbit, send a mapping rocket. Okay, so that's the GPS satellite. Well, it was worth finding out. Uh, let's see, I need a little bit of uh, food and a little bit of water. Do I have any more food and or water? Yes, I do. Let's top those back up. Always try and keep a full inventory of supplies. Uh, okay, well, I'm actually not going to leave this here because it's made of a component that uh, I do not have uh, a lot of the prerequisite components to make, uh, that being the microchip compass, but I would very much like to make these. So let's grab three of those, one there, and uh, how much else did we need? I think, in fact, that was it. So let's get T1 mining upgrade, follow that with the T2 mining upgrade. And these give mining time reduction of minus 10, minus 20, and then minus 30. Oh, I need a little bit more super alloy, but that's fine. Let's go all the way. There we are. Marvellous. I keep bringing up the wrong menu, though. Uh, right, let's drop these off. At this point, we've actually gone through quite a lot of the uh, materials we got, though we do have bioplastic nugget and an iridium rod. No idea what we're going to be using those for, but we can, I guess we can have a quick look. We've got a nuclear reactor. Is that likely to need an iridium rod? Oh, you know what? Possibly the T3 heater might need an iridium rod. That would be my guess. We've got the advanced crafting station a little ways away in terraforming. Uh, but we've got the veg tube T3 very close by in terms of oxygen. The biodome a long ways off in terms of heat. Uh, we're going to have to uh, buck our ideas up in order to get there. Probably needs quite a few heaters. The nuclear reactor though, yeah, again, still quite, quite far away. Okay, well, we've got a, a bunch of things that we're going to be able to make here. No, I didn't have my torch on. I, I'm paranoid about having my torch on now. All right, but we want to take back the seeds. Uh, these are going to be a priority. Also, the, the greens, but I'm going to leave a decent amount of materials there. Uh, next up, we're going to grab probably the fabric, because maybe we can make some nice uh, nice um, furniture back at base. Let's sort that out in there. Other than that, though, I think bringing along... Well, I don't know what I'm going to be using the uranium for. I I imagine it's going to be the the reactor, but we're, we seem to be quite f a fair way away from that. So this is what we're going to be taking back. I'm probably going to have to come back out here again in the relatively near future. That sky is getting very, very blue, though. I'm very happy with that. But I shall meet you back at base, temporary though it may be. Yes, I know. I use the saying all the time as well. There is nothing more permanent than a temporary solution. But I promise we will move the base, unless... It can function underwater, in which case, Subnautica Base, here we come. And we're back, back at home. Uh, now, we've got a couple of things that we're going to want to do. I want to check out the seeds we, we've got. I think we've got seed pestras in here. Uh, indeed we do. So one of those is going to be a Tusker. The other one will be a Nulna. And this one will get an upgrade from a Shanga to a Pestera. 
There we are. That'll increase our oxygen production just a wee bit. Uh, right, we're gonna need to start upgrading some of our storage device, but we have our first squash, and with the squash comes back the seeds, and now we would very much... Oh no, did I not uh, bring along the beans? Ah, scallywags, oh well. Uh, that's fine for now. Uh, we could grow some mushrooms, but I think we're gonna grow squash. The squash here will give us 40... Uh, 40 health back, it's uh, equivalent to the space food. So, right now, we're not losing out on anything. How are we doing for power? Eh, we're doing okay, I guess, but uh, could definitely be a bit better. That said, uh, I think we're first and foremost going to need to upgrade our storage solutions because each locker is two of these big. Uh, we need that extra space. So, give me just a I should have brought that iron back. <sighs> Give me just a second. Okay, we have got a much better organized supply in the base. I've got a chest over here for miscellaneous items that I don't have a specific locker for. We've got our supplies over there, common minerals, rare minerals, and of course, rather uh, expansive collection of seeds at this point. Is this ready for me to harvest again? No, no, it needs a little bit longer for now. But with all of this material here, it's time for us to do a little bit more of an upgrade. Great. And uh, while I was gathering materials, VeggieTube uh, 3, I think it's VeggieTube, not VegTube, uh, 3 unlocked. Now, this one is a big upgrade from 1.2 a second to 13 per second. And really, I was just about to come out and do some things, you scallywag. Uh, oh, well, we can at least get the uh, materials together. How much power have we got? We've easily got enough to set up two of these, and that's going to vastly outperform the uh, oxygen production over here. So what are we going to need in total? We will need two aluminium, two magnesium, and four silicon. Uh, the easy enough to get uh, two magnesium, and uh, what are we going to need for the drill? We're going to need a fair bit more uh, titanium, I think, but that should be okay for now. Let's grab these, and what seeds are we going to roll with? I think the best seeds we've got are currently in here, and am I going to strip these down? Uh, actually, I might take the small ones down, sure. We'll uh, rearrange all of this to have seed nullers, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, pesters over here, I think. And then these two much more powerful seeds will come with us. So let's swap these around. There we go, it'll look lovely in here. I'll probably swap these out for the uh, second tier producers. And is it going to be smart for me to go outside while there's still meteorites raining in? Probably not. Am I going to do it anyway? Yes. Uh, living life on the edge, you know? Uh, I wonder what was in that. That one is... That one was glowing quite... Uh, quite uh, fancifully there. I wonder if that might have been a super alloy meteorite. Uh, it's a little bit hard to tell sometimes, but you can usually tell what's in them by a bit of the glow that's coming down with it. Uh, let's have a look. Was there anything particularly nice in there. Uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I thought we might have been in for a bit of luck. But, oh, well, there's plenty of materials around if we want them. Uh, maybe it was some cobalt that I saw glinting in the uh, in the asteroid. Who knows? But, as you can see, the sky is becoming ever more blue, and it is about to start really speeding up. Let's go ahead and place these veg tubes down here. Let's have one about there, and another one Oh, we need a little bit of water, of course. Let me uh, go and grab that. We'll pop that in there for now. Let's go and grab that water uh, quickly. There we go. Supplies, water, thank you. Uh, let's go and get the other one down then. Uh, we can stack these up fairly close together, but this is one of the examples of a device becoming uh, moving from an indoor device to an outdoor device. Uh, let's get the seat down there. Right there, that is wonderful. The two of these together are producing fantastic amounts of oxygen. 52, 39. If you can see the terraforming index just racing up all of a sudden. That is marvelous. What are we going to unlock with oxygen? Next will be heater three. And we're probably actually going to reach that point now very, very quickly. I wonder if we should put down a third. I kind of think we might want to. Then I'm going to need to go and grab some more materials. And you know what? If we're going to be putting down a third, we may as well put down a fourth while we're at it, which does mean that we're going to need some more power. 
<sighs> never rains but a pause. Uh, do I have enough materials? I do, and I've got enough for three extra uh, solar panels. So sure. Okay, give me a second. And there we go. We don't have any other super high oxygen producing flowers, but that should do an amazing job. As you can see over there, uh, still channeling the Agent of Chaos, we have two more solar panels. But look at the sky and look how quickly the terraforming index is rising. We might not even have enough time to get down the next drill type. Uh, I'm going to do uh, my best to get that done, though. Let's go ahead and grab the last bit of aluminium that we have available in there. We do have still some more elsewhere, but uh, ooh, this is probably going to put a bit of a hurt on our energy situation. I might only be able to afford to place down one of them, but let's first pull down these drills so that we are decommissioning their drain on the system. And then, wow, this thing is huge. I approve. Let's place that down there. That's going to do a good bit of work there. Uh, this, in total, pulls a whopping 17 pressure per second, 0 0.25 heat a second. That's the big upgrade from 0 0.1 to 0 0.25. And uh, only a little bit more power than the uh, previous drill type 2. Can I not fit this one over here? Oh, I can't have them... Uh, they can't cross the streams, apparently. Uh, we're going by Ghostbusters logic there. But there we are. Look at that go. And the Terraform Index is rising so fast. All right. Let's uh, head on back inside and have a quick look. There may be one or two last things that I can pop up. In fact, I think I know what one of them will be. We're going to reclaim this, though. Uh, place that back down, but just a little bit to the side. And you'll see why in a second. Also, I left something out. No, 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 no. We must start as we mean to go on. That means no littering the planet. Not yet, anyway. Uh, there'll be plenty of time for littering the planet and microplastics in the water when we actually have water to worry about. Heater T3 is up and running. We need oh, more. More silicon. Of course we do. Uh, let me go and grab that. That shouldn't be too hard for us to find. But wow, that terraforming index. I might not even have time to get the silicon and build what I intend to build before we hit blue sky. This is now turned into a race. Am I going to find it? I actually don't think I am. And that's kind of amazing at the same time. Uh, a little bit disappointing, but, uh, you know, got to keep things uh, keep things a bit lively when you're out here on your own, terraforming an entire world by hand. A lesser man would already have gone space crazy by now. There we go. I've got maybe enough time. Am I going to win this race? I thought I wasn't. Ha-ha! Take that, blue sky! Uh, or not. You know, I actually do want you here. Don't have to go away or anything. Uh, let's quickly rush in. And we are going to place down... A terraforming panel. This should give us a load of information on what we're going. We're currently going from the barren stage to the blue sky stage. I'm actually kind of surprised that we made that happen in this episode. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually really surprised. You know what? Let's uh, get a bit of a better view from up here and actually stare up at the sky. But I'm afraid... That's pretty much where we're going to be wrapping up this extended first taste. Do remember that if you would like to see where the uh, where we'd be able to take this planet next, then leave a comment down below or a thumbs up or both if you're feeling especially spicy today. Still, no sun though, so uh, don't worry too much about the the solar panels. They they're absorbing sunlight uh, from the atmosphere. Uh, just don't don't think about it too much uh, on that one. But uh, if we do come back, then I think the very first thing we'll need to do is actually decide where we're going to put the uh, the more permanent base. I'm not going to say it's entirely not temporary, but we do need to start thinking about moving the base around because the next thing on the agenda is to get clouds. And you know what comes after clouds? Rain. And what comes after rain? Lakes and drowned bases. Still, I'm increasingly thinking of just leaving this base here if uh, we do continue this as a series and then seeing and um, for sciencing whether whether we can end up with an accidental subnautica. Either way, I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I had a bunch of fun. It was cool to uh, empty out those uh, those ships. We got so much good material and we have drastically upgraded the production here at the base. But that is unfortunately going to be it from me for now. So until next time, if there is a next time and as always do take care everyone